Shalom, give an all praise to your whole Bashim or Shah Bashim Kakadash. Shalom to the whole group left out there. We get right into it. The the title that I'm gonna give this video is You Can't Fast Talk Your Way Out of Captivity Vocab Malone. Now this is based upon a video. Now I did a bit video earlier based upon a video that um vocab put up, but you had to wait until it actually premiered. So I didn't know what was going to, what was he going to say? Anyway, he got into this. Well, basically he had a, one brother, I believe the brother's name is Ash, formerly of um, the Sakari, and even, even uh, Vogab said, do you sound like you're from Sakari? And he said, I'm formerly from Sakari. So obviously he's going to teach a lot of the same things that a Sakari teaches or holds to the way they break down the scriptures. Uh, anyway, it was him by himself, and it was uh, three Edomites, or what would appear to be Edomites. And they would, you know, over-talking him. I mean, they let him speak too, yeah. but they were coming with their nonsense. This is why it's a waste of time to even talk to them, because they have a preconceived notion that uh, when you come across the word Gentiles, a Gentile is talking about other nations. So, you know, vocab pulled out Acts 15 chapter, and, uh, Amos 9 chapter. And he mentioned GMS. He said, do you follow what GMS says that James went off? Now, I don't know if James went off. I, could, I might take that back. Or the translation, you know, went off. I don't know, but what, Jay, what James quoted, when he quoted Amos chapter 9, Acts, during the time of Acts 15, during that time period, <clears throat> Amos chapter 9 was not being fulfilled. James, speaking of quoting Acts chapter 9 about the tabernacle of David and the way um, vocab put it out there, that was fulfilled when James said it. No, it is not. Amos 9 and 12 is yet to take place because it speaks about the house of David. Now, how can you have a house of David with no David? If Acts chapter 15 was fulfilled when James, when you had James, you had Peter, James, Paul, you had the apostles together over this controversy about the Gentiles being converted in the third verse. Uh, let me read the third verse. And being brought uh, on their way by the church, they passed through uh, fin Phoenice and Samaria, declaring the conversion, to, the conversion or to get con meaning with inversion or vert meaning the truth. If you want to care to look it up, you can look it up of the Gentiles. So right away, a Christian thinks of, oh, that's the other nation, so we can get in. So these Hebrew Israelites, they gotta, they gotta start teaching the truth or they're gonna burn in hell forever. Those Gentiles are Israelites in a, in a Gentile state of mind. You know what we mean by that. And they cause great joy unto all the brethren. And when they will come to Jerusalem, they were received of the church. These Gentiles were received of the church, which were Israelites, and of the apostles and elders. And they declared all things that, that, that the Most High had done with them. But there, but there rose up certain of the sect of the Pharisees. Now, anytime you hear the word Pharisee, you think of wicked Israelites. No, you had good. Paul was a Pharisee. His father was a Pharisee. He still, he still was a part of the Pharisee. He, he still was a Pharisee. He said it in the present tense. It says, so it's a sect of Israelites. They were part of a group. Just like you got you had the commandment keep, keepers. Well, back then, that was the commandment keepers of that time. Which that's what the Pharisees was all about. They were about keeping the commandments. Which, which what? Which believe? What does that mean? Which believed in the Messiah? Give me a second.
I'm back. The brother Ash held it down. He said the right thing. So I didn't listen. I was in the car. So I, I couldn't wait to get home to do a video on this. So, so the third verse, the word Gentiles is talking about Israelites coming back into the fold of being Israelite, Israelites. Or actually believe in Yahweh. It says, uh, so it says, uh, but the but there rose up a certain of the sect of the Pharisees which believed, meaning Pharisees that had the the title of a Pharisee, and there was more than them. It said Pharisees, plural, more than one, which believe, which believe, meaning they believed it in the Messiah. They believed that the 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 Lord that came down and gathered the twelve, the Peter and them, they believed that that was the Messiah. A lot of them didn't believe, as I'm saying that it was needful to circumcise them. These, these Gentiles should be, that was another controversy. It says, and to command them to keep the law of Moses. And, um, and see, you know, IUIC, they'll say, keep the laws. They shouldn't be saying that, keep the laws. They shouldn't be saying that. They should be saying, I'm not saying, don't keep the laws. But when you come into this, I'm not going to say, look, brother, start growing a beard right now. Put some get a, a mega garment, put some fringes on it. You got to go to the Passover. The Passover is next week. No, if if there's if there's somebody comes into this truth or converts, and the Passover is a week or two away, you don't you don't invite him to the Passover. You might explain to him the Passover because you don't know what he's going to do after he leaves the Passover. He'll go to the Passover, eat the lamb. He's told not to to eat. He or she is told not to eat uh, unleavened. Take all the leaven out of your house, and he'll go home and forget, and go go and eat a pizza, or a, a turkey sandwich, or what, or whatever, or a ham sandwich, and that. So he's not that he or she is not ready to fully come into this truth. But they're learning, they're learning. So you can't just dump the law on them. But ultimately, when they become rooted, then they begin to keep the law. So it says. Uh, so, so IUIC goes off when they say keep the law, which they don't keep all the laws. They don't even know all the laws. It says in the apostles and the elders, they look, they keep, they kept the fat, the Passover on the new moon. <laughs> the Passover is supposed to be kept on the full moon. And I did three videos on it. All they got to do is watch the videos and they'll see it. And the apostles and elders came together for to, to consider of this matter. Um, and, um, and when, and when there had been much disputing, Peter rose up and said unto them, men, men and brethren, ye know how that a good while ago the Most High made choice among us that the Gentiles uh, by my mouth should hear the word of the gospel and believe. And that's talking about Cornelius. Cornelius and his household. Uh, read Acts chapter 6 and Acts chapter 11. So you know the seven taught that Cornelius was an Edomite. He was there to hold a book. The book wasn't even put together. All they had was the law. The law and the prophets. And the writings. So that was always, you know, shaky. But ultimately, we do study. We, through the Spirit, we came to the conclusion that uh, Cornelius was a, uh, an Israelite. And these Gentiles in the New Testament are Israelites that grew up their their parent, great great grandparents or whatever, how, however far you want to go back, they came out of uh, you know when um, Antiochus came in and caused them to to keep not to keep the laws, not to circumcise their children, eat pork, and so forth, and not to call yourself a Jew, not to keep Sabbath. So so they didn't want to die, so they taught their children. You're, you're, you're Greeks. Uh, and so it says, uh, a verse, and the Most High, which knew, knew of the heart, bear them witness, giving them the Holy Spirit, even as he did unto us, and put no difference between us and them, purifying their hearts by faith. Now, therefore, why tempt ye the Most High to, to put a yoke upon the neck of the disciples, which neither our fathers nor we were able to bear. <clears throat> and that was over the Lord thing, and circumcision. So it was a yoke <clears throat> until you until you become um, you know, 
grounded, then you begin to start to keep the laws. Remember, Timothy got circumcised because of the controversy with the Gentiles, but uh, Titus did not get circumcised. <clears throat> it says, but, and they were both Israelites. <clears throat> but, but we believe that through the grace of uh, our Lord, Yahweh Shai, HaMashiach, we shall be saved even as day. 12 verse, and all the multitude kept silence and gave audience to Barnabas and Paul, declaring what miracles and wonders the Most High had wrought among the Gentiles, Israelites, Israelites, by them, James' judgment. It says, and after they had held their peace, James answered, saying, men and brethren, hearken unto me, Simon hath declared how at the first, uh, how the Most High at the first did visit the Gentiles, starting with Cornelius, to, uh, to, so he was repeating what Peter said, to take out of them a people for his name. What name were they going to be given? They were going to be given the name of Israelites. They're going to come to the realization that they're the Israelites. And to this agree the words of the prophets as it is written, after this, I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David. So this did not happen. So that's what I meant when um, James said what he said. Uh, vocab said, oh, see, this happened when James said it. The conversion of the Gentiles, this is the fulfillment, 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 fulfillment of the house of David. So how can you, so where was David? Where was David? Huh? After this, I be I will return and will build again the tabernacle of David, which is fallen down, and I will build again the ruins thereof, and I will set it up. That didn't happen during this time period. That the residue of men might seek after the Lord. And, and those, are, those are the Israelites coming in as Gentiles. So, so you can say that part of the, the prophecy is fulfilled, but that's what James is saying is not the fulfillment of Amos chapter 9. Amos chapter 9 is yet to happen. It said that the, so when, when Amos chapter 9 is fully fulfilled, guess what? You're going to have David there. You, how are you going to build, build a tabernacle of David with no David? It said that the residue of men might seek after the Lord and all the Gentiles upon whom my name is called, say of the Lord, who doeth all these things. So now he didn't mention Edom. So it wasn't quoted, like I said, it wasn't quoted verbatim. Uh, you know, in verbatim, what, what, what James said, uh, quoting um, Amos 9. So now let's go to Amos 9. Oh, and this guy, vocab is saying, can you, he told Ash, he said, can you uh, name me one Edomite that survived after 70 AD? He said, after 70 AD, there's no mention of any Edomites. There's no mention of a lot of people. There's no, there was no mention of, uh, not too much mention of the uh, Northern Kingdom. But they were still alive on the other side of the world. And by the way, during the time period of, and then he cut himself because he said, do you know that the, um, and I believe he got that from me, but he said he got it from the Josephus. I could be wrong, but I'm, I'm the first one to say it, that um, there were Edomites fighting side by side with the Israelites, the Jews, during the time of 70 AD. And you know why? That goes back to her, her, her when he when he forced them to keep the laws. So they, they were teaching their children to keep the laws because they wanted to go in the kingdom of heaven, which they're not going to go in the kingdom of heaven. So there was Edomites actually putting their life on the line to, to save the temple and to save the Israelites. So you did have Edomites that wanted to believe, that actually believe. But guess what? They're Edomites. And another thing, the Herodian dynasty 
do you know that you had the Roman army, right? You had Titus, uh, the, the lead, I, I probably was, I don't know how many legions that I got to go into it of, of um, men uh, Titus had to use to take down the Israelites. But they were Romans that were attacking, right? These are the days of vengeance, Luke. Um, also, uh, the, the, I was going to say Idumeans, the, the Herodian dynasty, which they had a kingdom. They were well-to-do. They were, they, were, they were a high position. It said, if you go into the history, it said that the, the Herodians had their own personal army. I believe when they captured the Lord, it was Herod that had his own personal army. Let me see if I can find that. How does what's if I knew the let me try men of war. Men of war. Let's see what comes up. Bear me for a minute. Okay, it's right here. Forgive me for munching. Luke, I never do that. I'm, please forgive me for being so rude. I'll, I'll, I'll never do it again. Luke 23, verse 11. And Herod, with his men of war, set him, set him at night and mocked him and arrayed him in a gorgeous robe and sent him again to Pilate. So he was being sent back and forth between Herod and, um, and Pilate, which was the governor. So when you go into the history to the Josephus, it says that Herod had his own uh, private army. It says, and Herod with his men of war. You know what I'm going to do? Let me do this. Do it this way. So you said, name me one either, Mike, that uh, lived after 70 AD, well, 70, uh, 71 AD, 72 AD, 73, 74, Masada, guess what? The Edomites were still there. They still had their army. They didn't just, that 70 AD, they just all just dropped dead. The whole Her Herodian dynasty with all its relatives, all right? And then all, all of, of Herod's um, men of war, his personal army, which had to be Edomites, they were all, they just all dropped dead. Man, you don't, you don't know what the hell you're talking about, man. You're going to come up with that weak, that weak-ass argument. Well, man, name me one Edomite that's, you know, give me the last Edomite. I don't know when the last Edomite died because the last Edomite is still here. And let's say they all died off. They're still going into captivity. Because they got to fulfill prophecy. So if they all died off, they're going to come back. And we know why you're saying that. You're trying to cover your ass. Okay, let me do this. Let me go to Cambridge. Okay, with his men of, with his men of war and his armies 
for the soldiers uh, not treat uh, treating him not as a criminal but only as a person worthy of contempt he is despised and rejected of men they don't go too much into it okay Harrod with his men of war better perhaps troops or soldiers so guess what guess what Okay, this is Matthew 22, verse 7. But when the king heard thereof, he was wroth, and he sent forth his armies and destroyed those murderers and burned up their cities. Acts 23, this man was taken of the Jews. and I don't, I don't need all of this. But we do know that you had the Herodian dynasty had their own uh, private army and um, so, and I would assume that they were Edomites. So they had his his army had to just all faint and drop dead, and not give up the ghost, right? No, there were Edomites after that. Okay, you had Hadad, the son, the son of the king of Edom. The the story is in um, I believe it's in Second Kings eleven, if I'm not mistaken. I'm not going to go to it, where he fled, you know, from Joab, David, and Joab. And um, he had um, he was taken in by uh, the king of Pharaoh at that time, and the king of Pharaoh's wife, sister, he he got with and had children with with them. So guess what? You know, that's where the tears come in in, in um, uh, Matthew thirteen. So you know, you 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 going off, man? Amos Amos nine was not fulfilled. During the time period, excuse me, during the time period of Acts, the book of Acts, or Peter. Anyway, I'm going to say Shalom. And please forgive me for munching. 